video we are going to solve a problem on finding the transfer function of a control system using the mason's gain formula so let's see the problem So we are given the block diagram of the system and for this system we have to find out the transfer function using the Mason's gain formula. So for applying the Mason's gain formula we have to convert the system, the block diagram into the signal flow graph. So how we can convert it into a signal flow graph? First we will make the nodes for each of the variables and the summing point and the takeoff point. So there will be first node for the input that is R. Then for this summing point we will have the node X1. For this takeoff point we will have X2. For this summing point we will have X3, X4. This summing point will be X5. This takeoff point will be X6. This summing point will be x7 and this takeoff point will be x8 and this will be the output node for C. Okay. So there will be total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 nodes. Okay. So let's draw the signal flow graph for this. You have. Mark them as R, it is the output C. Then we have X1, X2, X3, X4, X5, X6, X7 and X8. Okay. Now between X1 and X2, there is no connection. And first see the flow of the signal that is the direction of the arrows. It will be in this direction. That is from input towards the output. Okay. Now between the node X2 and X7 we have H4. So let's draw it. This is X2 and it will go to X7. And we are having this transfer function H4. So we will write here H4. Now between X1 and X4 we have X, H6. So between X1 and X4 we will have the direction of arrow is in this. So we will write H6 here. Okay. Now between X3 and X6 we have H5. So X3 and X6. The direction of arrow is here, so we will write H5 here. Now, between X2 and X3, we have H1, so here we have H1. Between X3 X4, there is no connection, so we can take it as 1 also. Between X4 and X5, we have H2, so we will write H2 here. Between X5 X6, there is nothing, we can write 1 x6 and x7 we have h3 x7 x8 nothing is there so we can write one here now what is left here x8 and x5 we have 
H7. The direction of arrow is this and we will write H7. So this is the signal flow graph for the system. We have converted the block diagram into the signal flow graph. Now for this signal flow graph, we will apply the Mason's gain formula or the Mason's rule so that we can find out the transfer function of the system. So what we have to write for the Mason's gain formula The Mason's gain formula is T equals to summation of K equals to 1 to K, PK, del K and del. Where T is the transfer function of the system, P is the gain of the forward path del is the graph determinant and del is also same with del k but it is for the forward path k. Now let's first derive the forward paths for the see what are the forward paths in the signal flow graph. So this was our signal flow graph. Forward path is the path which starts or originates from the input node and terminates at the output node. So it will be here we are having 1, it is also 1, h1, 1, 1, this is 1 and so the forward path first is x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6, x7, x8. So multiply their gains, we will have 1, 1, then h1, h2, then we have h3 and 1. So first forward path is, that is p1 is h1, h2 and h3. Now second forward path, let's see, here the direction of arrow is opposite. Here also the direction of arrow is opposite. In this case also the direction of arrow is opposite. What we will get is 1, 1, then this H4, then 1. So multiplying their gains we will get this path is starting from R and ending at C and having the gain as H4. So second forward path is H4. Four. Once again see it, first forward path was starting from R and terminating at C was X1, X2, X3, X4, X5, X6, X7 and X8 and second forward path was X1, X2, X7, X8 and C. So these are the two forward paths, we have not obtained any other forward path in it. So for these forward path, let's obtain the del for it. First will be del 1 and second for second path will be del 2. Del 1 is the, that is del, it is 1 minus the sum of the gain of all the loops which are not touching the forward path P1. Okay. So the forward path P1 is X1, X2. This was the forward path. So is there any loop which is not touching this forward path? Let us first see the loops present in the signal flow graph. Loop is what? It starts from a node and it again terminates at the same node. And in this path, it is not reversing any node twice. So what is this? We have first loop as x3, x4, x5, x6 and again x3. So it is loop number 1. Second loop is x2, x3, x4 and again starts from here x1, x2, x3, x4 and again x1. So it is loop number 2. Loop number 3 we have x5, x6, x7, x8 and again x5. So it is loop number 3. Is there any loop? No, we are not getting any other loop in the in this question. 
So is there any other loop? Yes, we have this x1, x2, then we have this x7, then x8, then again this x5, x6, x3, x4, and again x1. So what the gain of this loop, we have 1, then h4, h7, h5, and h6. So there are, we have, four loops in this system so in these four loops is there any loop which is not touching the forward path no our forward path is this straight line and all the loops they are touching this forward path so del 1 we have 1 minus because we are having no non-touching loop so we will put 0 here and we have 1 as del 1 now del 2 we have h4 h4 is the forward path so on this forward path this loop is also touching because it is having the node x1 as common and uh, this loop is also touching because it is having x7 as common and this loop 1 one number loop that is x3 x4 x5 and x is it is not touching this forward path so we are having one non-touching loop for it that is 1 minus and that loop is h2 h5 okay and all other three loops they are touching this forward path so we have just only one non-touching loop so we have got p1 that is p1 del 1 and p2 del 2 so we will write here t equals to summation that is the value of k is here it is 1 and 2 so it will be p1 del 1 plus p2 del 2 divided by del and let's write the loops we have l1 l2 l3 and l4 because we are having three loop four loops in this system for the first loop what is the gain it is h2 h5 for second loop we are having h1 h6 for third loop we are having h3 h7 and for the fourth loop we are having h4 h7 h5 and h6 that is h4 h7 h5 and h6 so these are the four loops so del will be 1 minus sum of the gain of all the individual loops that is h2 h5 plus h1 h6 plus h3 h7 plus h4 h7 h5 h6 plus it is the sum of the gain of all the uh, or the pair of non-touching loops so is there any two loops which are forming a pair and not touching to each other let's see for the first loop that is h2 h5 this loop h4 it is not touching it okay no, the loop was H4, H7, it is also touching H7, H5 and H6, so it is touching. Now we have uh, for the second loop, we have H1, H6, this loop is also touching, this loop is also touching, but we have one pair that is this H3, H7, which is not touching this loop. So we will multiply these two loops, that is the pair of non-touching loop is first pair is of h1 h6 multiplied with h3 h7 so we have h1 h6 and h3 h7 
is there any other loops this first loop it is touching second fourth loop is also touching the second and third so we have only one pair of non touching loops so put its value here we have h1 h6 h3 and h7 also there is no triplet which is forming the uh, triplet of the non touching loops so the del is only up to this now we will put the value of p1 del1 p2 del2 and del in this mesens gain formula so we will get the overall transfer function of the system so let put its value we have p that is c by r that is the ratio of the output and the input that is the transfer function as p1 del1 so p1 was h1 h2 h3 del1 was 1 plus p2 p2 was h4 and del2 was 1 minus h2 h5 divided by del del was 1 minus h2 h5 minus h1 h6 So T will be So this is the overall transfer function or transmittance or you can say gain of the control system given to us. So this is our transfer function. And it is our answer to the problem. I hope you have understood the problem clearly. Thank you.